When you've um, downloaded and installed OpenOffice and then you click on the OpenOffice.org button, you get um, this jump page uh, where you can choose which application in OpenOffice that you want to run. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to run uh, Presentation, which is the um, slideshow um, program uh, in OpenOffice that enables you to run slideshows via your data projector on your computer. So let's click on the Presentation button. Uh, when this opens up you get the presentation wizard. Now once you're used to how um, a, present, a presentation works you can actually never see this again by clicking on this um, icon here, uh, the tick box here and just making sure you never see it again. Um, there you can download some templates from the um, um, uh, update exchange store um, and um, the two default ones in here are pretty boring and I don't use them. I try to encourage people to um, you know, create their own so that they've um, they've got a good understanding of how the program works. But I'll talk you through um, the presentation wizard so you know how to use it. So the first thing we're going to do is click on next, um, and there's a whole range of options down here that you can use. You can either just have a plain white background and change the colour if you wish to. Um, I'm going to uh, use one of the um, options here. Let's, let's use water. What does that look like? There's well, numbers on a dark background, it's quite dark, but click next. Um, and in here, um, on the, the third uh, and final th uh, thing to consider is how each slide is going to transition. Um, I would caution um, putting too, many, too much animation um, and sort of eye candy onto your presentations um, as they can detract from the actual content. So, what I would suggest you do is choose one thing and then um, use it consistently through um, out your entire presentation so for your slides use the wipe right or whichever one you want to choose it previews over here shows you how it's going to work click create so there we are here's our first slide and here's the um, uh, presenter interface um, when you open it up it use a whole there's a whole range of um, layout styles here on the right hand side for you to choose from um, I would recommend that you always keep stick with a blank layout that way you can create something that looks exactly the way you, you want it and the benefit of doing that is that you get used to using all the tools rather than um, have a, a style laid out for you and you're not really knowing how to use the tools. Um, so once you um, have decided which layout you want I recommend that you just close off that box it gives you more room f to see your presentation and how it looks um, and all the main tools for presenter are along here on the bottom toolbar. You can see these dots on the uh, page here, that's a grid, I put that grid in, I like to work with the grid and I like to get things um, to snap to the grid, it just makes layout a lot easier and you can access that from view, down whoops, in view, down here and uh, grid and you can see that I've got mine selected to um, display grid and snap to grid and if you want to uncheck those you just click on each of those um, and that's what you get. So let's crack on now. Let's add some text to this page here. Let's add a title and to do that the first tool in the bottom toolbar that we need to use is the, um, the text button. So we'll click on this one and we just click and drag and it snaps to the grid. We want a text bar in here and we simply just start type it, typing. So this is a title. Now, ob obviously, uh, for title, the header needs to be much bigger than this, and then we obviously use the format toolbar along the top here. So, obviously, um, text for impact would be Arial Black. Let's go for a font size of about, oh, let's try 66, that should be good. Excellent, and we need to orient that to the center. This is a title, it's white, so let's have something with a bit more impact. Let's click on the colour here, let's have a nice lime green, that will stand out, yes that really does stand out. Um, and so therefore you can just keep adding more text boxes and formatting your text the way you want it to be and that's fine. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add a picture from our own file and we click on this icon down here, so click on this button here, I just zoom in so you can see it, this one here. And I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to click on this icon I've got here. You might recognize it from the, the wiki. Um, and so now I've got a picture on the page that I want to um, use. 
and because I've got a snap to grid I can just put it roughly where I want to and it snaps to grid um, I can rescale it if I wish to it's rather too large undo that you can format your images if you wish to to make them more um, interesting so another tool along here is the rotate tool click on the rotate tool and the rotation point is set here um, you can move that around so wherever you put that your object will rotate around that rotation point so you just see what I'm, the icon I'm talking about that crosshair you can move that to wherever you want it to be um, keep it in the center and that's going to make your, it easier for you to rotate your object around a central point um, and that's really how you add um, images and text to your page uh, let's first of all let's add um, a second slide and then we'll, I'll show you how to animate each of your um, objects on your page so next thing we need to do is we need to insert a um, new slide so we click on the insert menu here click on insert slide and that gives us a blank slide if you're going to use the um, a heading on every page it, ca it does pay to use the insert duplicate slide um, that didn't work, should have carried the text through, ah, because it duplicated the, the blank slide. If we go insert duplicate slide, it duplicates the slide that's currently highlighted. So um, that means that you've got your text formatted in the right place. So that's, you could use that. So that we could use this to say this is page two. So you can differentiate the pages and we can delete this one and perhaps insert a different uh, picture just so we've got something to look at what have I got on my desktop oh, let's insert this washboard I don't know. there we go I don't quite know why I've got that there but there we go so now I've got these pictures now if we come back to slide one uh, we can see that we've got our title and our um, picture and you can have some additional text in there as well but let's just say that we don't want to animate our titles we just want them to be there on each page we, but we do want to animate our um, image and how it appears so we can right click on that uh, picture and down the bottom here we've got this option called custom animation we click on that and you'll see that in fact our right hand bar has changed so let's um, click on the add button let's add an effect and you can decide on whether you're going to have an entrance an emphasis, an exit or a motion path let's just stick with entrance, let's keep it simple for the moment um, and as I say I think that these animations should be subtle and not um, something that's going to interfere with the actual presentation itself so I would use something simple like dissolve in and yep that looks good and I would use um, perhaps a medium pace click OK right so let's click on play yeah very good okay now this um, will happen on click the very important thing is in a presentation is you organize how this stuff is going to is going to um, appear obviously if you want something to happen automatically and you're trying to talk to something um, it's going to be something that you're going to have to think about but on click means that you're in control and stuff won't appear until you click your mouse button and make it appear so that's how I'm going to leave it so let's click on slide 2 and do the same thing again right click um, custom animation good add effect now I would recommend if it's a for image you would keep it the same on every single one in dissolve in medium click OK and now you can preview your show to see what it looks like by clicking on slideshow F5 and you can see this is our slideshow appearing here and if I click there we go excellent and that's the end of the show that all looked very good and really you just keep building and building and building your slideshow um, image and a slide at a time until you get exactly what you want and really that is the simplest overview you could possibly have of a presentation and how to put one together